welcome to the class in this class we will extend our discussion of successive percentage increase and decrease with the help of this question in the part one of these uh, uh, part one of this class we have discussed the concepts and the underlying uh, multiplying factor the, the basic concept and the underlying multiplying factor and I've seen that how these multiplying factors are applied to solve this kind of problem just to remind you that in case uh, uh, if you have to calculate uh, if you have to see the multiplying factor for these percentage increase then here it is written and for percentage decrease these are the multiplying factors so you will see how these multiplying factors can be used to solve this question so first read this question a housewife spends 20% of her monthly budget on food, 10% of the rest on medicine, and 10% of the rest on laundry. And finally, she is left with rupee 1296. Then calculate her monthly budget. So, uh, the initial uh, amount is not given. We have to calculate that initial amount that is, is uh, her uh, monthly budget so in the previous class uh, we have seen that when we have to assume some value then it is better to assume in a multiple of 100 so here since we have to assume uh, the monthly budget so we can assume at 100 x this is the monthly budget this is the monthly budget 100x now it is given that she spends 20 percent of her monthly budget on food so out of 100x she spends 20 percent on foods so she is left with if 20 percent is spent then she is what whatever she is left with can we get from multiplying it with a suitable multiplying factor that is 0.8 so she is left with 80x then 20% of her monthly budget on food 10% of the rest on medicine now she is left with 80x now 10% is spent on medicine so she is left with how can we get the amount she is left with Multiply this initial amount with a suitable multiplying factor for 10% decrease the multiplying factor is 0 0.9 That means multiplying 80x by 0 0.9 we can get the Amount she is left with so she is left with 72x Okay, now it is given that 10% uh, of the rest on medicine and 10% of the rest on laundry now she is left with 72x again she spends 10 percent on laundry then whatever she is left with can be had by multiplying this value to 0 0.9 9 to ja 18 uh, 9 7 ja 63 plus 1 that is 60 4.8x so after um, this expenditure on laundry she is finally left with 64.8x initially she was uh, having 100x so now it is given that and finally she is left with rupee 1296 so the here this amount 64.8 this 64 Point eight x that is equivalent which is given as one two nine six so from this we can get the value of x as one two nine six divided by sixty four point eight that is we see here sixty four uh, yeah it is basically twenty times because 648 into 2 is 1296 
so here it is 0.64.8 so here x the value of x is 20 so we, since we know the value of x so the monthly budget her monthly budget monthly budget will be 100x that means 100 multiplied by the value of x which comes out to be 20 is how much 2000 her monthly budget is 2000 so we have seen that uh, with the help of this multiplying factor we have solved this problem so easily we will see more example in the next class